Going live. Just got some people in here. Awesome. Hello, everybody. Today's topic, the most missed discontinued sense. Hopefully everybody has one they want to talk about. I made the thumbnail one of my favorites. So if you have a scent on that's a discontinued one that you're wearing today, absolutely put it in the chat. Hey, what's going on? How are you? From Turkey, right? Right guy, the same one from Instagram, is that correct? Sorry if I don't recognize the name, I'm pretty sure it is. Too bad Bijan's not discontinued. I would have that in this, but actually it's a good thing it isn't because it's a great scent. So I got a random selection of some discontinued fragrances that I wanted to uh, mention today. Obviously, the one that I wanted to talk about most is Czar. Any of you guys have this one? Please let me know. Don, how are you? Good to see you. What is it, 6 p.m. in Germany right now? Is that is that the time difference? Um, so this is what I'm wearing today. I'm, I'm wearing Czar. It's, wow, this is so good. This stuff is, is just really nice. Um, I think you can kind of pull this off even in the, in the warmer weather. Uh, it's probably best in the fall, but I really, um, centralized Barry, what's going on? I don't have much old school sense in my collection. Next time I stock up, we'll be getting some recommendations from your channel. Hey, that's awesome, man. Um, Barry, do you have this one? Do you have Zara? I, I, I made this one the thumbnail because it's probably the one that I enjoy the most and I kind of coveted. I have a couple. Where is it here? I even got a smaller version too. As you can see, this one's transparent. This one's opaque. I did a review on this one, but I probably should re-review it. It's, just, it's so good. Uh, this is one where... I don't know why Van Cleef and Arpels would, would discontinue this. Um, I know there's a lot of fans of Van Cleef and Arpels poor home, even though that's not what I like, but I wanted to know, what do you think drives a fragrance house to stop making a scent? Is it, um, is it just sales? Is it only, does it come down to the dollars every single time? Are these things not selling? Like when did something like this become out of style to where it wasn't popular. Or I would figure there's still enough people out there that enjoy it, that would want to buy it. Uh, what does Zara smell like? And where on your body do you apply and how much? Um, Zara smells like you're walking through a pine forest with moss all over the trees. It smells so good. It's so green and it's like dense, and uh, but it's also fresh at the same time. Where do I spray it? I'll spray on my neck. And I, this is a great one for under your shirt. You spray this under your shirt, your clothes will smell like Zara. I think this sticks to Zara or Zara sticks to your clothes better than it does your skin. Performance on this isn't incredible. I get six to seven hours, which isn't bad, but I'd like to get more. But I don't wear it as much because I'm afraid I won't be able to get another bottle of it. So um, I have, uh, and of course, I did the whole thing, the aftershave, and these are just two EDTs to make it last longer. I got this one unboxed on eBay, really, really good deal. I have no uh, discontinued perfumes, but the discontinued shower gels, aftershaves. Oh, yeah, well, and they have a shower gel too. I found that one. Um, you can still find those pretty cheap. I found that for 20 bucks. I didn't. I should have brought that down. I didn't bring it down. Um, so, buddy, yeah, I would probably apply five, six sprays of this stuff, um, and that would that would that would be good. It should last. Um, this one probably got about 60 percent left, and this one you can sort of see the line there. There you go, yeah, so I have a lot left in this one. But what you wanna do with discontinued scents, is, in my opinion, if you're gonna go and get one, is you gotta look for like a gift set because you're gonna get more for your money. That's where I got where I got this. So I got Czar from a gift set and it came with one other item, which I don't use that often, but anytime I shave with it, I'm, I'm going to, and that comes with the aftershave balm too. This one doesn't really smell that much like the fragrance, but it does um, It does the trick and it obviously layers even better. So look for gift sets anytime you look for a discontinued scent. But Zara is awesome. Like uh, a lot of people talk about Midnight in Paris. Don't have it, don't own it. From the description, it doesn't smell like it would be something I'd love. Um, did I have a chance to look at the Aramis ones? I mean, I, I saw the ones you recommended to me, but no, I didn't I didn't order them or I don't own them yet. You know, I only have the original Aramis. And I know everyone asked me to do the review on that. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, but I want to. That's a good one. But I want to check out Tuscany. And then um, 
what's the other one that you said? Uh, tobacco, tobacco reserve. I've seen in the rack stores. That's pretty. That's pretty decent. It smells really good. Um, but yeah, Zara's just something special. This is my scent of the day. And uh, the, even the bottle, like look at bottle. Like uh, there was a guy. I don't know. Is Brett in here? Brett, are you in here? I don't know if you're in here or not, but he may not be in. Um, if he is, he called me the built-in sprayer guy. <laughs> I thought it was hysterical because all well, some of my favorite scents always have the built-in sprayers, which I think are cool. Even the bottles just look classy. I wish I liked Vanny Van Cleef and, and Arpels Pour Own, but I don't. This one is the one that really, really does it for me. Uh, the Aramis Vintage Havana is great. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, I heard that one is good. Havana. That, that's the other one that you um, that you mentioned too. I need to try that one. Certain scent may be discontinued because of ingredients may be banned or not available or too expensive. It might not fit in with the brand's overall direction. Not always sales alone. That's true. Um, the ingredient, but there's always reformulations, and I don't think that a reformulation is a bad thing. I'd rather have a scent reformulated than have it discontinued in, entirely. Czar had a reformulation, and they came out with a whole new presentation on the bottle. I think initially it was this one. Then they had the transparent bottle, and then they had that one that's clear that's kind of like ribbed. I, I'm interested to see what that one smells like. And I think price-wise, that's the best one that you can get. That's probably the least expensive out of the store. Anytime you see this one, for just the bottle, you're looking at $100 plus on eBay. But I was lucky I got that gift set, I think, for $90. And I thought that was a pretty decent buy. And it was a blind buy. Again, I, with these scents, you have to just take the gamble. But this one smells so good. And I don't like to wear it that much because of, I'm afraid I might not get another bottle. But it's awesome. And when you combine it with the aftershave, it's just amazing. Um, but that's true. Uh, the Arch uh, Traveler, if a company is looking to do a total different direction in terms of what they want to put out for fragrance content, maybe they will discontinue one. But what are the other Van Cleef and Arpels like New York? That one looked like just that looks is almost as boring as the bottle. Like I'd rather wear. Did any of you guys watch that video I did about the um, really really cheap like awful clones that I got? This that was funny. Sometimes like I'd rather uh, like a clone come out of czar or something like that, then have it be discontinued. It's, it's unfortunate that it was. Um, but for green scents and green and masculine scents are some of my favorite, but this one's great. I just don't know why it would be discontinued. And there's no explanation really uh, other than it could be sales. It could be, like you said, that's a good point. Companies go in different direction. Ingredients wise, that's another thing, but that's where I think then the reformulation would come into play as opposed to just chopping the whole fragrance as a whole. Uh, problem is they're often discontinued because they don't sell. That's what I thought too. Like, um, you know, but then creeds sell and creeds are like, this is this. I, don't, I think when this was around, this wasn't even expensive, but it jacked up the price now that it's discontinued. But think about like the creed, like there are so many other scents I'd rather buy for the money of like one creed. Do you like niche fragrances too? I do. Of course they're great. But they're, but the thing about that is, is they're not, um, they're a lot of times really, really uh, expensive. You know, one niche fragrance that I do have, my mom went to London and she went to Harrah's. Uh, she went over there for like a jewelry show that she was a part of actually. And she went to Harrah's and bought me a Nishio side effect. That scent is freaking incredible. Talk about a date night scent. That scent's insane. Um, not discontinued though, but I do like niche scents. They're just a lot more money. And I think that some, and I, and I kind of, it's almost hypocritical because a lot of these discontinued ones become a lot more money, but they're, at one point weren't and I, and I really like it, but niche are, niche are good too. You, you can't deny them. They're really, um, let's see, why don't we call them up and ask, right? <laughs> Could you imagine that? Hey, is this Van Cleef? <laughs> no way. They would probably keep me on hold forever. Was disappointed by Van Cleef and Arpels Pour Home too. It was basically Irish Spring, never tried Czar, but both bottles are so retro. They are. Van Cleef and Arpels Pour Home to me isn't even, if it were Irish Spring, I'd probably like it. Like Sung Om by Alfred Sung, that one is Van uh, Irish Spring. Van Cleef and Arpels Pour Om is like dusty waiting room chair to me. I really hated that one. Yeah, nothing like Irish Spring. I'm going to have to agree with you, Richard, on that one. I did not smell any soapiness to that at all. It's very dust rose and like doctor's office, like dingy doctor's office. That's what I get from them. Um, yeah, side effect is great. Yeah, that one is awesome. That one's great. Uh, one niche one I want to try is Burning Barbershop by DS and Durga. That one smells, I suppose, just, just to try it. I would probably not buy it because I hear it's very, very hard to wear, but I would definitely want to get a sample of that one. Um, yeah, if you guys can get your hands on Czar, it's awesome. It's it's probably one of the coolest ones ever. I get I got kind of like, my, my girlfriend's younger, right? And, and she loves the scent. And I think that, it, you know, if the companies are afraid, it might not be appealing to 
the new wave of fragrance wares, I, I think that they're wrong. I think when something smells good, it always smells good. Everyone's going to have different tastes, but this is something that I think is um, just incredible and I really miss it. So that's why I use it sparingly. Let's see. Side effect is great. Let's see. Down when you got it. Gucci Envy is so overpriced and overhyped today. And now the same with Gucci or Ohm too. I don't really like Gucci fragrance. I want to try Gucci Nobly. I heard that one, Noble or whatever it's called. I hear that one's kind of like Dracar Noir. Anything Dracar Noir-esque, I'm probably going to enjoy. But I had Gucci Guilty, and then I had which I finished the bottle of because that, that was like before I had a huge fragrance collection. And I would just wear it to work, didn't even think anything of it. It was more of like a throwaway reach for me. Um, I had Gucci Oud, and that one I sold because I didn't like it. Easy wear Oud, not, nothing nothing intense, but I just didn't wasn't a huge fan. So I got it as a gift, sold it. Um, but Zara is definitely one that I wish was still around for sure. Any of you guys ever tried this one? So this isn't a fragrance, Crabtree and Evelyn, West Indian Lime. This was a scent that I went through two bottles of and I can't find it anymore. Now it's on eBay and it's like $150 and it wasn't even, it's a soapy fresh. I just got like actual bars of soap. But if you can find this one, Crabtree and Evelyn for the summertime, this stuff is awesome. Karen Yadigan, yeah. I, I know you mentioned you just got that. Crabtree Neverland was like, there's a lot of West Indian lime, old barbershop, but this one is uh, was really, really nice. This one was fresh. Let's see. You sold me on Zara now then. Uh, on yeah, it, you got to get it, Don. It's, it's, I'll bring Zara back into the picture here. Zara is um, like a greener Duke de Vervaume, but on like the mossier side where Duke is more soapier. This doesn't have a soapier, but it's more like fresh forest. It's very masculine too. You just feel like boss wearing this. This stuff is great. We need to get you on the list of reviewers that receive items to review. Yeah. I mean, that'd be awesome. I don't, you know, I mean, maybe it's because I don't necessarily do such mainstream fragrances. I did, I'm going to drop a list video either today or tomorrow where I did some like really inexpensive, very common summer scents um that are nothing like the classics that i review but i would say that's probably why i don't get free stuff but it's not about that really for me yet you know what i mean that of course that's a perk that's awesome and when that happens to somebody that means their channel's growing and who wouldn't want to do that that sounds great but i like to shed light on these because you don't you don't see many reviewers doing sense like this how old are you can't tell if you're 21 or 41 it's funny um 32 See original Davidoff by Davidoff today. Your style, which one? Um, like Zeno, or is that what you're talking about? Let's see. We need to get on your list. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I never heard of original Davidoff by Davidoff. I didn't know about that one. That Run Wild Davidoff. That looks pretty cool. That looks like a nice freshie. Um, that one's I see is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty cheap. But I want someone to buy Zar. You have to find it. You can get a decent price. I would say if you're into that scent. It's worth the ninety nine dollars as long as you can get it shipped to you, and you don't have to wait like forever and ever. And um, you know it's legitimate as well too. But I don't see this being knocked off because I don't think that this is even faked anymore. Obviously, it's not production. But this is one that I really, really, really wish they would bring back. Crabtree and Evelyn, they make some decent sense. This is one I would uh, really want to bring uh, bring back. West Indian Lime. This is such a crowd pleasing fresh scent for sure. So Run Wild is an Embroxen bomb. Yeah, I would imagine. I would imagine. I'm really close to purchase Lapidus Poor Ohm. Should I? Yes. Why don't you have it already? You should buy that. You should buy it in triplicate. You should buy the aftershave. You should buy a poster of it and put it in your room. Brett, welcome. Thank you. Definitely. Yes, absolutely. You should get it. Dude, Lapidus Poor Ohm is like a cousin to Koros. Lapidus Poor Ohm is great. And then if you like that, you should get Lapidus Poor Ohm Sport. But I'm not interested in any of the other flankers. But Lapidus Poor Ohm is... Um, is great. It's one of the best ones. And if you're not sure, get, I mean, I don't even know why I'd recommend the Milton Lloyd version, which I think is called um, America's Night, but because that's $9 and Lapidus Pour Homes like 12. So you might as well just buy Lapidus Pour Home, but you can get both of them. Are there women's perfume you like that you'd actually wear? I think you asked me that before. And I said the answer to that is not really. Um, see, I love Czar, but I am also afraid to use but on a daily basis, I use Quorum, Bowling Green, also Safari. Yeah. Well, Safari, I think the dry down in Safari is definitely the closest to Czar. Bowling Green, I own now and I wore it one time and I'm not sure. It's a vintage bottle. I'm not sure if I got a spoiled batch or not. Wasn't really crazy about it. Um, so Lapidus was a love at first sniff. Yeah, absolutely, dude, for sure. 
Um, I would, uh, I, I agree with you, Dimitri. I don't wear Zara a lot because of its scarcity. It's very rare, but when I do, I like to use it all with all the stuff that I have too. And again, if you're going to buy it, look for the gift set. You got to get the gift set. If you can get a gift set here like that, you're going to be able to get more products with it. And then you get the body wash and then you're zard out and you're just like czar Nicholas II. Say so I paid a mint for my czar. Wow. I, oh, signatures. Hey, what's up, man? Um, thank you for stopping in. Yeah, really cool video yesterday. I liked how you put in all the different Jakar Noir family. At least I don't know if you did it yesterday. I, I just watched it yesterday, but I really liked that one. That was a good video. Vintage Zara is glorious. So which one would be vintage? Is this vintage? Because it's the opaque bottle. Is this vintage? Then there's that other bottle that like has the green ribbed on it. That one is good. Sorry, my apple pie ice cream was calling. Thanks, man. I haven't eaten anything. Yeah, uh, Signature Scent Review did an awesome video on Dracar Noir, and it was just bringing in different. He brought in Duke David Vaughn, and that was that was really cool, man. I really appreciated that. That was great because it's a that was something I would watch all day. Um, Brett Lapidus opens up with a <laughs> astronaut pineapple note, like a powered pineapple. I get Koros dry down in the end, and yeah, you know, I think that they're the shine, uh, non shiny bottle. So Ben, this is the non shiny. Okay, so I got this one. Like ninety nine dollars spray right there, yeah, it's so good. It's unbelievable. I'm gonna smell like I rolled around in a pine tree. Is it too close to chorus? No, it's not too close. They're not. They're they're similar in their dirtiness, but they're not the same thing. Cool. Just subbed to signature scent reviews. Yeah, everybody subbed to that guy's channel. His channel is awesome. Um. Well, I'm gonna if we're gonna keep on Zara, we'll keep talking about Zara. But you know, I love Koros. Yo, Koros is the shit. Koros is the shit. I got I got one of these. See, again, you get the best deals with gift sets. So check this one out. This is this is a discontinued gem, uh, gem right here. I don't know who cares about Van Cleef and Arpels. All they got is Zara. Everything else they make sucks. <laughs> no, just kidding. So this one, Koros Fresh Air. This one is unreal. I think the top notes are a little gone with this one um, because it kind of smells a little bit like vinegar for like a second. And then it, and then it goes, uh, you should try Balenciaga. Um, Balenciaga pour them. Midnight in Paris is discontinued. That one gets a lot of love. I don't know. Um, is it similar to Lapidus Sport? No, 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 not at all. Not at all. And I, I'm, forgive me guys if I'm jumping, I'm trying to respond to each question and I kind of speak quickly anyway, so I can do that. Uh, this is nothing like Lapis Sport. Lapis Sport is more like floral. This is like a lighter version of the original Coros. This scent, um, and this was really cool. So this came with an aftershave bomb, and this also came with a bar soap as well too. So this one was like 80 bucks, and this is a vintage bottle. Look, you can see this. Now I've seen this bottle for just a bottle, uh, a 1.650 ml. We're going for over 100. I don't own Koros now, but back in the day, it was so strong. Holy shit, Kellen Jones strikes again. That's funny. Original Davidoff is total powerhouse pre Zeno. Okay, well, I should probably try it. Yeah, Koros is. I have some other ones in here from Koros that you should check out. Um, anyone ever tried this, this flanker for Koros? Koros tattoo. This stuff is great. This is going to go into like a summer classics. This stuff is awesome. So this is like a instantaneous blue, fresh scent. And this becomes an awesome Koros dry down. Like this is less of a performer than Koros Cologne Sport, but it's, it goes a little harder with the Koros DNA than that one does. I almost bought body Koros. Um, body Koros is nothing like Koros, any of the other Koros ones at all. In fact, that one probably is my least favorite. It's decent and it smells good, but it's very heavy on vanilla and it's almost a little cloying. Like I almost was like, eh, I didn't, I didn't think, uh, that one was that great to be honest with you. It was okay. I was a little disappointed with that one. It's strong. So there's that it does have performance, but like I have a couple flankers of Koros now and they all have that Koros underlying DNA and body Koros is like, they went for a whole new thing. Same thing with like Koros silver, which I'm not going to try. I've heard it's, I've heard it's like, okay, what's your feel for blue scents? You mentioned you don't like them. There are a lot of good blues. Blue scents smell good, but they um, like, I like this one. This has blue scent in it, but also mixed with Koros powerhouse. So take like a, 
Um, you got to appreciate blue scents because they're widely sold. They're not bad. They don't smell bad. They're just very basic and they kind of smell like, like cologne. Like when you think of cologne, I think of a cool water. I think of a, a Versace, like Versace Dylan Blue, great scent, smells good. There's nothing wrong with the scent. And, you know, I got to give it credit for what it is, but I'm just not a fan. To me, it's boring. Like I would rather wear something like this. I would rather wear something like Czar. And again, I'm not talking season specific right now. I'm just saying in general, I would rather wear something that no one else is going to have that smells, still smells good. Cause it's just, I'm still pulling compliments with this stuff. And I don't care what anybody says. How much do you miss Paco or Bond Sport? Um, I have it. So I, I don't miss it, thankfully. But when it's gone, I'm going to miss it. Sport to Paco or Bond is insane. Let me read some of these here. Um, quarantine. What's your feel for blue? Uh, let's see. Corona, coronavirus. <laughs> I have the coronavirus. Yeah. Knock on wood. It's not funny. I shouldn't joke about that. Um, discontinued one. I always wanted was Versace man. Have you tried? I have not. I don't, I have not tried Versace man. Um, I've tried Versace. I have Versace loan. That one's really good. That's not discontinued though. They have a reformulation. Anybody like any discontinued Jacques Bogart sense? Probably my favorite one. It can still be had pretty cheap. Oh, fresh. This stuff is awesome. Pinot Rainforest? I didn't know they made a Rainforest one. Is that the one that's in the grenade? Any of you guys tried this stuff? This stuff is awesome. Oh, Fresh by Jacques Bogart is insane. Have you tried Beau de Jour from Tom Ford? I have not. I have not. Tom Ford, they're like either really good or they're like not that great, but they all still cost like $150 for like a sample that big. This one's awesome. This is great for like warmer weather, but can also be good in the fall. Performance on it is okay. Uh, did you try Jacques Bogart for you yet? I don't remember if you reviewed it. Um, I haven't. I haven't, dude, and it's on the way. I have. I ordered it. I ordered it uh, last week. I found a, a seller. Unfortunately, it was a 30 ml, so like I didn't get the one with the built-in sprayer, unfortunately, so I can't be Mr. Built-in Sprayer with that one, but I want to, um, I want to get it because I want to try it. And the guy was selling a 30 ML for 45 bucks, but he had buy it now or make an offer. So I made an offer for 35 bucks and he accepted it. So I just bought it. So that's going to be on the way. Um, let's see. My wife loves Paco Rabanne Pour Homme. My girlfriend loves Paco Rabanne Pour Homme. It's amazing. That was what I wore yesterday. Davidoff Zeno and Oscar De Laurenta Pour Louis. Uh, let's see on me. So I'm rocking old school mode here. Yeah, absolutely. Those are all probably really good. I haven't tried Oscar De Laurenta yet and I haven't tried Zeno yet. Everyone's saying I should. Um, um, Ego West, very masculine barbershop. That's awesome. Just bought one man show. Oud, awesome. It is, uh, is Emerald discontinued? Just Emerald is not available in the States. You can get it if you order it, but it's going to come from India. Um, it's not a lot of money, but you just probably will never get it. <laughs> Let's see. Thoughts on Anteus. I know you have Ego West, uh, not Platinum. Anteus is great. I have it. I haven't reviewed it yet. I wore it. I went out and searched for it after Christmas and couldn't find it anywhere. I ended up buying it online. Of course, I bought all the products that I could match it with. And it smells great. It's nothing like Koros. People are like, oh, it's, it's Chanel's answer to Koros. I disagree with that. I don't think it's anything like Koros. I was almost a little underwhelmed with it. It smells amazing, but I think it's, uh, I'm going to save it for more special occasions, though. It is a very good good fragrance. Uh, but it's not like Koros. Koros is like, we'll slap you in the face, punch you in the face. Ego West is just going to come up and greet you. Um, you are enjoying Bijan. Uh, yeah, no, Bijan was great. Bijan is good. Very spicy. Bijan, to me, is like a... Affordable version of Ego S. That's what I wanted to say. So yeah, let's see. It's affordable. It's really spicy, really vanilla. Um, it's just that it's hot here and it's a little bit cloying for me to wear that right now, but it doesn't mean I'm happy I had it in the collection. Let's see. I hear Booty Shore is very much like Xeno, just more expensive. Fashion Sport on Platinum Ego S. Let's see. Um, can you make a video about what you'd buy with 100 or 200 budget or something like that? I probably could do that. I probably could do that. I, I might want to make it specific to like if I'm getting fragrances that are discontinued like Azar or if I'm getting just, you know, what I want to get in general with 100 bucks. I don't know. I mean, there's so many things that you could get for $100. Um, but this one, though, and no one's no one's tried this one before. OK, I'll just put it away. <laughs> Oh, fresh is great. Okay. Here's another one I think everyone will remember. Fragrance Matt talked about this one a lot. Remember Witness? Witness by Jacques Bogart. This is one where not good for the heat at all, but this one is pretty good. Discontinued. Very cinnamon-like. 
I'll waste the spray here. I'm going to smell like so many different things. Wow. Yeah, this is very cinnamon, woody, very, very masculine here. Witnessed by Jacques Bogart. Almost have some vanilla in that as well, too, I think, and I'm just guessing. So this one, a little cheapo sprayer. So these are all discontinued. So like I could see this one not really selling a lot. Like I would only wear this in the fall. I'm getting some clove, like, you know, those bags of pine cones in the States. If you ever go to like a grocery store that they sell as like a big, like almost room freshener, that's what this smells like. Yeah, very, 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 very woody. That's actually really nice. But I wouldn't wear it. It's too hot to wear it now. Um, you should get in touch with Scentland. You and him have the same taste. Is that, I think Chris, right? Yeah, his videos are awesome. He's reviewed a lot of the ones that I have. Like I watched his years ago before I even did this. And then I would see that he's reviewed a lot. Yeah, he's a great reviewer. Funny, funny dude. He did a tat, like he did tattoo. Um, you know, tattoo actually comes with a Koros tattoo. Like I, I forgot to mention that. It's actually really funny. This one is great. Performance on this is, is <laughs> there's the actual tattoo. You take it off. I'm going to wear it. Probably not. Um, but this one is, uh, is, is the performance is probably like five hours maximum, maybe three to five, but that's really good. How good is Ralph Lauren Safari versus vintage? That's next on my list. I have it. I have Ralph Lauren Safari and I have, um, the aftershave. I, I think the aftershave is a little older. I like it. It's, it's great. It's not like, um, it's not like, uh, Czar in the opening, but the dry down is like Czar. I actually really like this. And that's one I should wear more often too. I just don't. Anyone out, what season would that be best for? I think like a fall probably. Mm, let's see here. You should do a Facebook group for Frag Talk. Why is Facebook so huge with with fragrances? Like I don't have a Facebook anymore. I actually hate Facebook. I hated it because all it just became, this is before, again, before my reviews. I have Instagram and uh, mine is K underscore Cavella, C-A-V-E-L-L-A 88. And that's my Instagram page. And it's, you know, mostly clones, but a lot of other stuff too. I like champagne and... And, uh, and then meet some of my friends and my girlfriend and all, but the, um, uh, Facebook group, it's like huge. So many people have Facebook, uh, you know, pages. I just don't have it anymore. Maybe I should get back into it. If that's like a, a better way to kind of grow the, grow the page here. Um, let's see if I've ever tried Jaguar for men. No, but I hear that's a really nice green one is, uh, let's see. ADG Ascenza. It's the hype. Like no one's business. Anyone try that? ADG. What do you mean by that, Brad? Is that like, are you talking about Aqua de Parma? I recently got Cartier. I want to get Santos de Cartier. I hear that one's really nice. I, I saw that at a rack store and it was only like 60 bucks, but I was just like, eh, I passed on it. Let's see. Uh, uh oh, Aqua de Gio. Oh, oh, Aqua de Gio. I don't know why I didn't notice that. Duh. Um, <laughs> that shows how little I wear it. Uh, no, I don't know. I've, I've never tried it before. I've only ever had the original. I like my dad used to wear Aqua de Joe back in the day. And, uh, I don't, not interested in that one too. Aqua de Parma Senza. Now that one is, is probably the, out of the colonial line, maybe one that I, I like, but I don't love. That's got that kind of like chemical it's fresh, but right off the bat, it has a little bit of like a cleaning fluid taste to it or smell to it. Excuse me. That I don't really like. Um, but Aqua de Show, like the Profumo, that one's okay. I think that one uh, is probably out, out of the flankers. That, that one's one that I would I would buy. Um, they're solid. Again, they're, there's nothing wrong with those scents. They're just ones that I, I don't have. They're, they're not as interesting because you can get them anywhere. And I, every time I go to the mall, I smell it. Same thing with Blue de Chanel. Same thing with like um, the Blue Scents. That's what I, I kind of categorize them as that. Um, hmm, Sar. Sar's the best. I wish that they I wish that they would bring it back. Now has a fragrance house ever done that? Like discontinued something and then brought it back like a re-release? Re Let's see. It gives me a splitting headache. Perfumo gives you splitting. Yeah, it does do that. It's very metallic. You know what gives me a headache is, is Zaro Chrome. That stuff's garbage. I hate that so much. So many people love it. And that's another one. Like one that like when I think of like corny colognes, that one comes to mind. I don't like that one at all. Yes, Aramis. Let's see. Yeah, Zar. What about Caesar's Man? The original Caesar's Man formulation that is incredible. Um, signature scent reviews. If you like your Car Noir but want a greener, get Caesar's Man, not the new one. You got to hunt down. You can still find that, Brett. I'm encouraging you to get that one too. That one is awesome. Um, can you hold your Zar bottles in the camera again, please? Yeah, absolutely. So opaque EDT. 
right here. This is the oldest one. This is an aftershave. And then this is, this is like the middle version. So this one here, this is the one I have. This is the one I have most of. So these, to me, smell the same. I can't really tell the difference. The aftershave's awesome too. Let's see. You should uh, watch Robe's review on Azar Chrome. Why? Is it good? Versace Dreamer was brought back with significantly different notes. Check it out in Fredantica. You should do a special on Oak Moss Heavy Frags called Moss's Boss. That's a great idea. Um, Duke Dave Vervant would definitely be on that one. Moss's Boss. And just have Moss's Boss episodes. Um, yeah, green scents are great. Let's see. Um, spoof on Robe Chrome review. Hate Facebook too. Not interested in people telling me how to get rid of how great their kids are. Right, that always happens. Yeah, but it's Chinese. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. Signature scent reviews. You got to get the one, and you can find it for like I think it's it's trust me, it's worth it. For if you can find it for seventy five bucks, even a hundred. The original Caesars. Um, I got lucky, right? I found this fragrance shop online. They had an online store, and they had three gift sets of Caesars Man. The original formulation where it's green, not the brown one. And it was made by um, Caesars World Group Entertainment from Caesars Palace in Nevada. And I guess he didn't really realize how rare it was. And he was selling them for $39. And I called and I said, if I buy all three, can I get them for cheaper? And he was like, yeah, I give them to you for five bucks off. So I got three gift sets, four actually, of Caesars Man. And then I was going to sell one to my friend. And it was so hot in my car, the bottle exploded. And one went completely to shit. So I lost that one. But yeah, I have it. I bought aftershaves. It's amazing. That's probably one of my, that's up there with Koros for me. Like I always talk about my top three, Caesars, man, Koros in no particular order, but that one's amazing. You should definitely get it. The Chinese net one now, it smells okay, but it lasts like 15 minutes. But Caesars, man, I should have brought that one down too. I don't mind to think of that. We'll consider that one discontinued because what's out now is like an abomination compared to the original one. Uh, let's see here. There is a czar soap in the bay. For 26 bucks, best offer. Yeah, that's that's good. You love the channel. Let's see. Thank you. Caesar's man is Chinese. Yeah, no, I know that. I know it's it's not Chinese anymore. I had um, it's a, or it is now, but you should definitely get one the the uh, vintage version, even if it's not the super old. It's it's still really awesome. Where did you lock your vintage fragrances? <laughs> Just in a closet. Let's see. Review all classics. I don't have poor Lou. I heard about the perfumer making Zar making his R clone, but I can't remember her name. Wow, that would be huge. It's R clone. I'd buy that in a second. I wonder if like Dua has any Zar clones. That would be. I'm sure if anyone would do it, Dua fragrances would. Dua. Out of topic, are you a rum person? A single malt whiskey? Don't say champagne. I know champagne is. I love champagne. Champagne. I have on deck all the time. Champagne is where it's at. Don't really like dark alcohol. Um, if I'm drinking liquor, it's going to be like vodka, like Grey Goose or something. But champagne, that's why I have the swords. You can cut the, you can't cut the head off of any other liquor bottle. It's going to explode, but you can do it with champagne. Um, but signature scent reviews, I, I'm encouraging you to get a vintage Caesars. It's worth it. Trust me. I actually bought a Czar uh, oil on eBay. That's how much I love the scent. They have a, a Czar oil on eBay. Is it one of those um, like, impression of i bought a koros impression of uh, uh roll-on oil 30 ml for like 15 bucks stuff smells pretty freaking good pretty freaking good i like it it's not dead on but it's close enough and for 12 dollars, and i got this humongous roll-on that'll last me forever um or your aqua de parma bottles yes you can use an aqua de parma bottle to open a champagne bottle as well it's, it's actually easy do you think it's fine to buy vintage fragrances fragrance online during hot temperatures heat can damage fragrances um I've bought my fair share of vintage bottles and they've come to my house and I've opened them and they've smelled absolutely terrible because they definitely have gone bad. If anyone saw the review I did a few months back on uh, Ungara Pour La Homme 3, it smelled like vinegar. I bought a Duke de Vervant gift set, opened it up, sprayed it, smelled exactly the same, sent them all back, got my money back for all of them. Um, it's going to happen. It's a gamble. And these are the scents that you just really can't, you can't guarantee because they're vintage, how the seller stores them. What happens to them in the mail? It just it's it's sometimes um, you're going to get one and it's going to be it's going to be bad. I bought a bottle of vintage Paco Rabanne for home, like a I think like a 2.5 m um, uh, ounce bottle, and that one came and it was perfect and it smells amazing. And I'll put a little bit of that on before I spray the new one on, and the moss is just completely elevated. That is incredible. That I got lucky on, but I've also bought vintage fragrances and they've come and they've been spoiled. It sucks. 
let's see. Um, yeah, but unfortunately, all my favorite scents are like more cooler weather scents here. If stored correctly, how long do you think fragrances are good for folks with years of experience? That's a good question. I think um, probably, I think a very long time. I think they can last a very long time. I mean, eventually, I think the alcohol is going to almost like dissipate some of the notes in there, but I think that they're 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 all right. Um, I think keeping them out of the light is a good thing. I, I've tra recently transferred colognes from one to one closet that doesn't get any light. The other one was bigger, just had a window. But I keep most of them in the box for the most part. Ones that I have out on like a tray where I reach often, like that would be like Zara, like this one is on a tray so I can grab it and use it anytime I, but I don't use it that often because it's vintage. Um, right temperature and low light, they last. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that for sure. Um, and um, let's see, quarters of fragrance editions. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Like remember that show in A&E, Hoarders? where you go in and someone's house is just completely trash, but they would have like boxes and boxes of like absolute garbage. Imagine that for fragrances and like the person just dies and then anyone could go in and take whatever they want. That would actually be awesome. Not that somebody passed away, but you know, the fragrance portion of it. Um, wow, witness is really strong. It's kind of taken over everything. All right, I'm gonna spray some of this. This is the best. So this is such a lighter, almost cool water. And then it just goes right into the Coros DNA. This is awesome. This is awesome. My czar is 21 years old. That's insane. How do you even know that? What do you look up the bat? Like, yeah, oh, whoops. Yeah, I don't know. Made in France. So there's the reference number. Yeah, czar is so good. Have I tried Bogart Witness? Yes, we talked about that one. That one's really good. I sprayed it on myself. Maybe you missed it, Rich. Sorry. I didn't talk about it long on this thing. Bogart Witness is good. Um, it's very cinnamon. It reminds me of the fall. Um, it reminds me of those, like I had mentioned a few minutes ago, whenever I said it, um, the bags full of pine cones that are really like air freshener that you put in like a bowl the, like in uh, supermarkets in the states always have them out, out front like Wegmans always have them and they smell like the cinnamon and you know that's what this reminds me of this is this is an interesting scent i wish i had the bigger bottle because the bigger bottle looks just like oh fresh because it has the built-in sprayer and the best colognes come in with built-in sprayers and it looks just like this except it's witness i don't really like modern perfumes because they all miss something the vintage are much better I don't necessarily think that something has to be vintage. Like the new Koros is great. And yeah, it's not vintage. Everyone talks about that. Call you guys vintage Vikings because they're just always crushing it for the for the vintage. And that that's awesome. And I agree. They probably were good. But if we can't get our hands on it now, it doesn't mean the new one is bad. If you meant modern colognes like, you know, the blue scents, then yeah, they are not as unique. They're not as heavy. They're not as strong. God, this, this is insane. This stuff is so good. This one is... Um, Really, really, really nice. Oh, yo, aldehydic soap right here. This is for you. I told you I got a vintage one. Look, this guy is probably the most critical of anything Koros that's new. <laughs> I watched the one review and you were like, yes, if it's uh, not vintage, it's absolute trash. Get off my page. That was just, I was dying. I was legitimately like in, like laughing. That was really funny. How prominent strong is the coconut and czar? I didn't even know it was in there. I have no clue. Georgia Beverly Hills or Lapidus Pour Ohm? Uh, Lapidus Pour Ohm all day long. Uh, yes, the distributor of the bottle. Yeah, bottle will tell you the batch code. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, look at this thing. This is beautiful. Just got a little bit. And, and your description of it too. When I asked you, I think I asked you that on Instagram about what this is like. You're like, it's just a lighter, airier, fresher, original Poros. And there's Cor there's a Coro's vintage bottle. It was like 150 on eBay. I almost bought it, but I was like, ah. like I again, I have so many that it's like it's. I want to be able to use them. Um, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Let's see. Um, really hot here in Portugal. Probably going to pull the trigger and buy Bowling Green sometime next week. No man, buy Caesars. It's more money, but it's better. Just kidding. Just buy whatever you want. I was joking. Perry Ellis Elite smells like a vintage track. What about Perry Ellis by Perry Ellis? The big, I did a review on that. It's a big bottle. 
comes in like five ounces. That is the best Perry Ellis. In fact, that's the only one I own from Perry Ellis. That's another one that I got from my dad. And he still has the bottle. I think he's got like a quarter of a left. He says, and when he wears it, I'll forget. I'm like, what is that? He's like, ah, you know, it's the Perry Ellis I've had for like 6 million years. Have you tried Azaro LE? No, I have not. I'm not a big Azaro fan. I don't like any of their scents really, unfortunately. Azaro, Luke Porom. Have you tried? I have not tried that one. Teddy, sorry. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. I heard it's a rose heavy. It is. It does have a rose note to it, but it's very nice. Like the rose in uh, Van Cleef and Arpels Porom, that smells like you just dragged rose through like a dusty old house. The Perry Ellis one's very nice and it's a lot fresher. I really like that one. I really like that one. That one's great. Um, let's see here. Live talks are great, especially during this day. Keep up the good work. The reviews are fun. Not the same stuff everyone else is reviewing. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Um, yeah, this might be the biggest one so far. So far, I just wanted to just touch on some, some discontinued ones. Uh, okay, Alda Hiddick Soap. I don't know if you have Tattoo Koros. <laughs> I don't know what you think of this one. This one's really good, too. This is a good Koros. It's discontinued. Don't make it anymore. Don't know why. I think this one would still be somewhat popular, but again, might not sell like like uh, the fragrances that Yves Saint Laurent puts out now. So five ounce for 17. Yeah, seriously. They're not, yeah, absolutely buy that one. It's really, really good. Does it have the, um, does it have the white top por portion? It's like a uh, brown bottle, black cap with like a white, it almost looks like a deodorant stick. If that's the one, then that's it. Let me see if I can find it. If I can find a picture of it, I will, let's see. Prefer uh, Witness or O-Fresh? Uh, O-Fresh all day long. O-Fresh is way, it's masculine. It is, um, you can, I think it's more available. Actually, I've been wanting to sniff that in a long time. Chris from Scentland also reviewed it. That's where I first saw it. Chris from Scentland, absolutely. Uh, Richard, but O-Fresh, get this one. You can get it for 25 bucks. I saw a seller on eBay selling two of these for 55. That's a good deal. I have three bottles of this, two um, 50 mLs, and then I got a good deal on a, a best offer on a big 3.4 ounce. It was awesome. Yeah, Matt has it. Yeah, he does. Matt does have it. Um, nobody ever speaks about uh, Ohm de Gas. Don't know it. Let's see. Um, what's better for Ohm or Amani or Savage Jordan? We don't have any of them. Sorry. But um, yep, that's that's a good one. Matt does have that one. And that one is a great scent. I think I have a picture of it here for you just to confirm before you buy it. Um, it's a really, really good one. Let me see. But I might not. Yeah, this one. If it looks like this, if you see that right there, that's what the one I'm talking about. That is a really good scent. So signature scent reviews, if this is the one you're talking about and you can get it for 17 bucks, it means I, I think I paid like 20 or $25 for it. This is really good. And you'll have that bottle forever. Absolutely. Sometimes some nits, it can be, um, I just think you become nose blind to it. And I think a lot of people around you um, smell it, but you might not, you know what I mean? And you don't always want to smell the scent on you. I mean, you do, I, you want to, I always wear it for my personal enjoyment, but at the same time, um, that can happen. That can happen too. Anyone right now, anyone within at least like 60 feet of me, I'm going to reek like a Coro slash czar slash Jacques Bogart grenade. Man, you would love Oscar de la Renta for the week. I'm, I might just buy it because it's not expensive. I should buy it. Do they have like an aftershave and aftershave balm and all that stuff? Because if I get a fragrance, I want to get all that stuff too because I have a thick beard and I shave once a week and I'll pick one the day that I shave uh, a scent that I like to use all that stuff because that helps reduce skin irritation for sure. Change the song there. Um Let's see here. Yeah, those are great. One of my favorite discontinues is DK Fuel. Ben turned me on to Derek. That one is awesome. That was a really, really good scent. Um, I won an aftershave by it. I think I saw one on eBay and it was like 60 bucks. I should buy it though. That one is great. I should wear that one more often. Derek is insanely good. Cologne Sport and Koros Tonique last week. Tonique was very nice, but quite low performer on my skin. I actually won a bid on eBay for that one. That one's good. I didn't bring that one down. That's also discontinued. Um, it's like Ouda Toilette, Energizing Tonic. That that one's really, really good. That one's awesome. I like it. And, and they're, Cologne Sport Tattoo, they're all very similar. Cologne Sport's the best. Then I think – then I actually think that the Energizing Tonic 
Eau de Toilette is better than Tattoo, but Tattoo's good too. Um, yeah, they're all Tattoo's the least performer. Cologne Sports like much longer, even though that's an Eau de Cologne and not an Eau de Toilette. So. <laughs> Stefan, what's up, brother? How are you? Thank you so much for stopping in. Um, we're talking about some discontinued scents. We started it off with Czar today. That was the one that kind of made me want to do this uh, this whole whole live stream. Let's see. Only spray under your shirt. You release whiffs uh, with your nose and won't go blind. Buddha Sport, the blue one. Um, no, it's... Um, that's that's the really really old one, Uda Sport. I don't I don't think I have that. No, that I, I have Chorus Cologne Sport. That the one with the different looking bottle. Let's see. Um, I don't have that one. The blue that that's like the super vintage one. I, that one I only see that in that on eBay. There's like one seller and it's like 250 bucks. I'm not buying it. That's ridiculous. And and then it's a thing. Like you spend that money. What if you get it and it's bad? Like it's you don't you don't smell anything. Like like this is really starting to come alive now. And this this right here. Uh, Koros Fresh Air has eclipsed every scent that I've sprayed. It's destroying it. Like it's beat the shit out of Czar. It's crushed witness. Um, yeah. So this is essentially what I've worn now. I'm wearing now. Let's see. That's the best. Um, or Tappert alias Inspector Derek again. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if with that. I don't know what you're referring to. <laughs> oh man. So um, this has been fun. There, there are so many discontinued scents. I just wish they would bring back. Um, thank God Koros is still in production. Because, you know, Reeve Gosh by YSL was discontinued too. And, and that's an awesome scent. I don't have the vintage, the like barbershop pole looking bottle. I have the, the, the square one. But that is such an amazing scent. I should have brought that one down. Why that was taken away. So I feel like it's only a matter of time before Koros is discontinued. I'm afraid that might be the direction they're going. And I hope not. It's still made today. If that happens, I'm gonna buy like ten bottles of it just so I have it forever. Like I gift it. I gift it to my one. My one friend loves uh, YSL. He loves like La Nuit de Lome scents like that, which are okay. And I'm like gonna get him a Coros bottle. And he, but he because it's YSL, he'll like try it and want to keep it. But that's that's what's up. I, I really hope they don't discontinue that one because that one's such a freaking good, such a cool set. It really is. It's it's like nothing else. And the flankers that they have are amazing. So if you can get your hands on this one, this one's really good. If you're like afraid to try regular Koros and you want something a little bit lighter, but still want that robust smell, this is the one. This is awesome. Have you tried the new Armoise and Chilud Flanker? No, I have not. I have not. Oh, <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> I got Koros Uda Sport for 30 euros at local drugstore here in Lisbon. Um, probably one of my best finds. And last month that was recently that's awesome i'm actually say sport has a more potent civet note that thing is funky yeah that'd be awesome that'd be huge i would love maybe i should just buy a sample a little sample of it just so i can experience it that'd be huge um but it, that's harder to get in the states too i just hope that one stays on the shelves I really do that'd be awesome uh let's see what other discontinued ones do i own that i really really enjoy would love to try vintage Dracar Noir. Afraid to buy that. Afraid it's going to be like spoiled and the seller just doesn't know because they don't spray it. Although that's not discontinued at all. I definitely encourage anyone to get the the original Caesars Man. That one's awesome. That performs like a monster too. Really, really good. I meant Derek Orlane perfume. Yeah, no. <laughs> that one's really good too. The Derek Black or whatever it's called. Um, let's see though. I think the spraying under your shirt, though, that one, that's a really good way to, because now that I, now I still, I got a huge whiff of czar right there, because that's what I did, so I'm going to have to wash my arms. Does Al Rehab have a Koros clone that smells like vintage? So Al Rehab, that's a great question. They have one called Lord, but that, in my opinion, some people go, oh, it's going to be a mix of Lapidus Porum and Koros. It's, in my opinion, 100% Lapidus Porum. I don't get any any Koros at all. Um, if you go to this seller on ebay i think it's called brooklyn fragrances or brooklyn scents i'll look it up for you right now and i'll tell you where you can get a good koros clone roll on that is really really nice so um what i'll, I'll and i keep track of that type of thing too because if you can find uh clones that are good that are that are not expensive they're just awesome finds too so let me find this i'll tell you exactly what it was um and that way you can make your decision because it was definitely worth it and i've been getting into the fragrance oil Let's see here. Here it is, right here. 
So this seller, I'm going to tell it to you guys, looks like the seller is, and it, you can get anything you want. You can get like a, um, you can get a, it's from Brooklyn. So it's from New York. So it's not far. Brooklyn Sense. That's what it looks like. Check that out right there. They made, so I got this 30 ml Koros roll on. Stuff is insane. You roll it on one time and it, and it just destroys. That's as well though, what's going on? I'll rehab the car is good. Great scent. Yeah, it's car is amazing. Um, I love winning auctions on eBay. Isn't that the best? That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Um, for sure. That's great when you win a when you win an auction or when you win a bid like that. That's the best. Let's see. Uh, I loved, let's see. I love Lagerfeld photo. Once again, it was a signature scent on my youth. I haven't tried any Lagerfeld scents yet. Um, but again, back to Dakar. Dakar is really good. I like that. I like that one a lot. And it lasts a long time. It's a really mossy, earthier version of the Nutri Carnoir. The Nutri Carnoir has that clean, like shaving cream, deodorant scent to it, where Dakar doesn't. Dakar's like straight moss. That would be on Moss's boss if Ben's still in the uh, still in the group here. Uh, no, I have not tried that yet. I want to try uh, Crezia Womo too. I hear that one's really good. Someone was mentioning that to me. Vintage Giorgio Beverly Hills for men is one of the best patchouli scents ever made. Uh, Bruno, I own a bottle. I did a review on it, and you're right. That is such a good scent. I, and I didn't really care for the new re release one or the new formulation when I first smelled it like a couple years back, and I shelved it in terms of getting it. And my boss had gifted me a, uh, a bottle because that was his scent when he was younger, he said. And he knows he's like, wow, you're, you're a young guy. You like these type of classics. So he gave me that, and it smells incredible. I have like – I went through like almost half the bottle already. It's so good. That's an awesome one. Good call. Uh, of uh, what about new bottles of what? Which one are you talking about? Unless you're not talking to me. But that's a really good one. So I think um, all these discontinued scents should really just be brought back. Even if they reformulate them, who cares? At least they, at least we still have something. <laughs> Lagerfeld photo was truly a gem. I think you would like Lagerfeld classic as well. Is that the orange looking bottle? Let's see. Women version is good. You have a rock polo green? Oh, dude, absolutely. Polo for men. The green bottle is in, I love that one. That one's such a good, I did a review on that one. And I, so that's a little bit of a cooler weather. Like I like to wear that one, um, you know, I would say fall, winter time, maybe early spring. It's a it's hot. It's like, it's a, like, I'm not going outside. It's like 80 degrees here. Um, maybe, maybe not that hot, but it's, it's getting hot here in Jersey. So, but Polo Green is awesome. It's such a good scent. That's, I, I want to get the aftershave bomb and it's only a store called Dillard's that sells it. That's what I want to get. But yeah, it was really, really good. I got a, I got a vintage after an aftershave for Polo Green. Stuff is, is stronger, as strong as the EDT, the current EDT I have. Uh, my sister got me a gift set for that for this past Christmas, and that was really cool. So Polo Green's awesome. And just, I, I feel like it doesn't get as much appreciation now because there's so many Polo flankers, but the original one is the best out of, out of that line. Absolutely. No questions asked. Um, but I want to try some Lagerfeld. I feel like I got to try uh, Oscar De La Renta, uh, Pour the Weed. That one is for sure. Polo Green was king. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and my older sister is... Um, is uh you know she's probably in her like late 40s so she um said she remembered polo green just being like a humongous popular scent like everybody wore that one back in the day and i, and I smelled it for like i almost like rediscovered it at um an ulta one time and i put it on i'm like wow like this really really smells nice really smells nice i love it very green let's see ben what's going on how are you man Supreme leather. Yeah, those look actually really nice. Those look really nice. Let's see. Great channel. Absolutely. All, all, all of everyone's got great channels. Enjoy all these videos. This is a lot of fun. Um, but if anyone tried the other one I had mentioned earlier, the West Indian line by Crabtree and Le uh, Evelyn, that one was a really good scent. All I have are just the soaps. I don't have anything else but the soap. That's it. And I've seen this one now again on... Um, uh, eBay and it's overpriced. And I went going through two bottles of it and it, it was a really good scent, really fresh for the summer. It's great. I own Vetiver. Hmm. Recommend you an Italian brand scent bar based in uh sense that they make very special fragrances. I bought 800. It's amazing. Genuine notes and high quality fragrances. What's this one called? It's called scent bar. Hmm. Wow, the chorus is eclipsing everything. I can't believe how strong this is. This is awesome. The vintage is the real deal for sure. Uh, let's see. One I've been really digging is uh, Caron Pour on Ohm Sport. Such a really good blend, not really expensive, and it lasts a lot. 
doesn't the regular Caron pour on ohm, doesn't that like have like just three notes in it? I hear that one's really good. I should get the Saar soap to see if I like the scent. Get the body wash. Uh, Don, you'll like the scent. Just do it. Don't be a cheap ass. I'm just kidding. But definitely get it. Definitely, it's awesome. Czar, czar, it, like it's so green. It's so fresh. It, it's awesome. You, you have to get czar. You're going to really like it. I, get the soap. That's a, it's a safe bet. I, I get it discontinued. And I just kind of mentioned about how you have to be careful sometimes, but you're going to really like it. Czar is awesome. <laughs> Do you like Zeno? I loved to. Uh, I used to be self conscious about wearing it. Um, I everyone's talking about Zeno. I have not tried it. I have not tried it yet. I, I should. It's really cheap. I just like. I don't know. Sometimes I want to discover it, but I have to go through some other other fragrances that I have. Can you compare Lapidus Pour Ohm versus Coros? I tried Lapidus Pour Ohm and didn't like it. To be honest, really. Oh man, I love Lapidus Pour Ohm. It's such a d deep, distinct scent. Coros is uh, a million times better. Um, but um, it for sure is uh, – they're both dirty, but they're dirty different ways. Like Koros is a higher quality fragrance for sure, but um, Lapidus Porum is still great. And that's what I like about Lapidus Porum. It's, it's cheaper. Um, Zar has a cult. We are the cult of Zar. Absolutely. We are the Zars. We are Zars. <laughs> um, but if you didn't like Lapidus Porum, you you might not like Koros. Koros isn't for everybody. Keep that in mind, but it's something that – I, I just love both of them. But if I had to pick, like if one was removed from my life forever and I, ha I got to keep one, I would keep Koros and I would let go of uh, Lapidus Borum. Get the vintage. Current has uh, burned plastic smell in the opening. Let's see. Yeah, the regular Caron is really nice too. Performance is really bad, unfortunately. That's what I heard about it too. That's why I started. Because performance, I used to take that into account. I think when I was looking at that scent, that's why I didn't buy it. But I, I would probably I would probably get it now. Thanks, Sentatar. You made me get that Dior Ohm. I lucked out and got the yellow juice. That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, really positive community. Um, let's see. I heard you briefly speak about Victor Wall Street. Do you recommend? Absolutely, Richard. Wall Street is amazing. I love the House of Victor. I love Aqua de Selva. I love Fresco. And Wall Street was an awesome. And they, the Wall Street actually is the best performance out of all the Victor scents I have. And I even have Victor, I think on my last live stream, I talked about Victor Club. That one is great too. Really green. That one smells like your Noir. You can get a bottle of that for 17 to 20 bucks. I think like a 50 ml. It's a splash, but most Victors are, uh, except for Fresco. Caron came out in 1936. Wow, so that one's been around a long time. Yeah, for sure. Let's see. One really odd pick for the summer is Givenchy Intense Ultraman. One of the most sold fragrances, Japan, Bulgari, Poor Ohm Extreme. Hey ben, are they closing or changing because you think the pandemic or just in general? Don't like care on sport. Well, that's, you know, I get mixed reviews about that. that that's interesting. I got to try that one. Now I want to try it. I'll probably end up buying it. It looks like it, it's obviously in, in a classic. That's that's cool. I should check that one out. I was on a sport bender for a little bit and I did uh, a bunch of sport reviews. I really like the sport um, for, for the summertime for sure. I'm tempted to get for the week. Yeah. Uh, if that's the, I want to get the Oscar De La Renta one. Everyone says that if it's a little classic, I would really like it. And so I think that one's like 20 bucks max. Mugler and, um, and Creed were bought out. Creed, I heard about that. Creed was bought out. I heard that too. That's unfortunate. I didn't like it at all. Oh. It sucks when you get a scent and you don't like it. That's the worst, especially if you spend a lot of money on it. But at least you can return it for the most part. And I think eBay may used to be like the Wild West and people couldn't get their money back. But the eBay money back guarantee is fail safe. I've never had a problem, not once. And it's been things not other than fragrances too, expensive items. So I haven't ever had that problem at all. Uh, well, guys, it's been about an hour. I really appreciate everybody dropping in. Uh, ben, Stefan, Don. Brett, signature scent reviews. Thanks, guys, so much. I'm going to cut it off here for the, uh, the weekend. I will talk to you guys soon, okay? Take care.